Welcome to a demonstration of the Tekkit Solutions Staffing Database. This demonstration covers the steps required to add an event to the Staffing Database. This includes the basic administrative tasks such as inputting the event name, adding the locations and stations, setting up staffing shifts, and defining staffing expertise. These demonstrations are intended to be a simple overview to a very powerful scheduling tool and they will not cover every function of the database in detail. For more information or to request a detailed product demonstration, please contact Tekkit Solutions or click www.tekkitsolutions.com. In later demonstrations, we will show how staff would use the database to sign up for work shifts and how event managers would assign staff to those shifts. Let's begin. First, let's start by signing into the staffing database as an administrator. To add an event to the database, click the events link in the administrator control panel. Next, click the plus symbol to the top left of the events list. On the next page, type the event name, the time zone where the event is occurring, and the start and end dates of the event. Then click the Add and Continue button to go to the Events List page. Clicking on any of the events in this list will allow you to modify any of the basic event details. The first page a staffer will see when they log into the staffing database will be the landing page. So let's add a welcome message with some information we would like the staffers to see when they log into the event database to sign up for work shifts. To do this, first we have to log into the event we just created by clicking the Sign Into Event link in the Administrator Control Panel and then selecting the event from the pop-up list on the resulting page. And then finally, click the Submit button. To edit the landing page, click the Landing Page link in the Administrator Control Panel. This will take us to the Edit Landing Page Layout area. On the Landing Page Edit area, we can add plain text message or formatted HTML, as well as graphics and flash animations. We'll add a simple welcome message to our staffers and then click the Update Information button at the bottom of the page. Our next step will be to add any locations related to the event, such as a booth in a convention center or a hotel ballroom or any other physical space that will require staffing during the event. Let's go ahead and add a booth at the convention center and a ballroom in an adjoining hotel. First, click on the Locations link in the Administrator Control Panel and then click to the plus symbol by Locations on the left side of the page. First, we'll add the convention center. We can add multiple locations easily by entering a name, clicking the appropriate Enable Staffing button, which indicates whether or not this location requires staffing, and then clicking the Add Another button. You can continue adding locations until you're satisfied. We'll just add a, a hotel room now, a hotel ballroom, and then click the Add and Continue button to finish the list. Locations are physical spaces associated with the event, and there may be several stations or positions associated with each location. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let's add a couple of stations to our booth in the convention center and a registration table for a reception we're hosting at a hotel ballroom. First we click the Station Positions link in the Administrator Control Panel and then click the plus symbol next to Stations on the left side of the window. Now let's add a couple of stations in our booth. First we'll add a Consumer Product Station. We'll give it a station number, which can be anything you choose and then select the type of station, either a position a staff will fill or a particular location they are responsible for. And finally, select where the station is located from the list of locations we defined earlier. Click the Add Another button to quickly add another station. Let's add a network appliance station to the booth, adding the station number, station type, and location. Now let's add that registration table for the reception in the hotel ballroom. And again, adding the station number and station type. This time we'll call it a position since there will be several people assigned to the registration table. 
and then finally the location is the hotel ballroom. Then we will finish by clicking the Add and Continue button to be returned to the list of stations associated with this event. Our next step for setting up an event is to add time shifts that staffers will fill during the event. These will represent the blocks of time each staffer is assigned to a position or station on the each day of the event. Click the Shifts link in the Administrator Control Panel and then click the plus symbol by Shifts on the left side of the page. Enter the date, begin time, end time, as well as the location for all your shifts. By clicking the Add Another button between each shift you add, you can quickly populate the shift schedule. Continue adding shifts until each day of the event has enough shifts to cover all of your stations and locations. Now we need to determine what kind of expertise will be needed to staff our stations and positions. Depending on the type of event, the products you plan to show, and your anticipated audience, this could be anything from a warm body to a highly qualified product manager or systems engineer. Let's go ahead and add a couple of expertise we will require at our event to see how this works. First, click on the Expertise link in the Administration Control Panel. We'll add a Customer Product Demonstrator, a Product Manager, and finally, a Network Engineer. By clicking the Add Another button between each expertise, this allows us to quickly add multiple expertise. Clicking the Add and Continue button after the last one will return us to the list for review or modification. Defined staffer expertise can span multiple events, so now we must choose which expertise we require for the event we just created. To do this, click the Event Expertise link in the Administrator Control Panel and check off the expertise we need for our event. As a final step, we will define employee types. This can be used for reporting purposes later on and can be anything you choose. Click the Employee Types link in the Administrator Control Panel and fill in the appropriate information. All that is left to do now is to open the event to staffing. This is done by clicking the Event Settings link in the Administrator Control Panel and setting the Staffing status to Open. Additionally, any assigned Zone Managers can be allowed to assign or review current staffing schedules by changing the zone manager status. Be sure to click the update button when you are done to save the changes to the database. These are the basic steps for setting up an event using the TechIt staffing database. In the following demonstrations we will cover staff signing up for work shifts and then event managers assigning staff to work shifts as well as communications to staffers after they've been assigned shifts. Thanks for watching.